Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And this morning, we have an airplane in here. It's a Tiger, and it has come in for some baffling work. And let's take a look at what we see in the baffling on this airplane. Well, we can see from the blue roll material. This is the rolls that you buy from aircraft spruce. They're 60-something dollars, or they were. And, uh, but the problem with the rolls is the rolls is all rolled in the wrong way. They actually hard riveted this ceiling into place and sealed it. But as you can see, it's missing a piece right here at the very front that comes up here. We're looking along here at all the ceiling. These don't match. We've actually broken a tab right here off of the metal from vibration. We're gonna have to repair that and uh, stand by Y reposition. By the way, while we're looking at baffle seals, it's kind of hard to miss the exhaust plumes on this exhaust pipe and uh, especially when you look at it from this direction it's all on the intake tube and everything else but now let's go around and look at the front of the aircraft okay now we're on the co-pilot side of the uh, front of the engine and as you can see there's a little hole right here in the baffle seal that was a little bit of air but nothing much um, the front of the airplane as we saw we had the broken baffle seals and these are all uh, put together very badly here leaving a lot of places for air to get out a couple of fun things this uh, Alternator door it actually opens because it's worn through the metal So we have to put that in with a bigger grid that lets a lot of air out right there And then the seal for the exhaust number 14 on the air mods Ken Blackman sets um, They put the seal on the wrong side of the baffle It's supposed to be out here not on the exhaust side so that's bad. We'll be fixing that. I don't know what. I have to look see what's going on with the shield and everything. Uh, we have a capacitor wire missing on the alternator. That's just a standalone. We found that. And let's look at the rest of it. Everything looks pretty good from up here. Now let's reposition over to the pilot side and see what we might be able to see. And here we are on the pilot side, taking a look at things. Oh, we have a couple of exhaust leaks that we can see, but we're working on the baffle seals right now. Baffle seal's got a hole in it right here from wearing. Uh, this is not secured up here. This is big, thicker back material. It's all hand riveted in. Other things we notice, we're missing a screw here, which is holding our whole oil cooler uh, part on the airplane. So we'll be fixing that as well. So that's a real quick look at what we look for when we decal an airplane. Uh, we haven't looked at the cowling. We'll be looking for cracks in the cowling to support what's going on with it. But we're going to be changing all the baffle seals out. Matt is um, getting a good sharp drill bit. We're going to have to drill all these out and punch them out. And we'll be starting over from scratch there. So, And then if for extra fun, the baffle seal on this side is on the inside of the baffles. But yet if we look at the other side of the engine, it's on the other side of the baffles, which is the correct outside side. So we're going to be fixing that. So stand by for some. It may be kind of hard to see, but there's a crack right here in the baffle seal. Matt's shining a light on the other side to shine through. So I'll add that to the list of things we have found on this. And just, just in case you haven't seen them, um, this airplane's also equipped with a set of Ken's cowl bumpers, which prevents cracks in your cowling. Now let's go take a look at the cowling real quick. Here's the crack in the cowling the cow bumper on the pilot side will address right along through there and stand by. Other things we're noticing on the bottom, we have a crack right here, we have a crack on the other side, we have a crack in the top left corner of the air exit ramp, and a really good one down here. These are all going to require doublers, so we'll be addressing what's going on with the cowling as well as part of this. So, that's the look at taking the cowling off and looking at all the front seals. We hope you found this useful and informative. I'd like to thank you for watching Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel and have a great day flying your Grumman.